Okay, guys. So, we're almost done. Hey, don't shoot. And thus we grow a little more desensitized. Whoop whoop, it's the final class trial. And don't you know I add some great new rules just for this special occasion? If you'll manage to identify Muko Ikusaba's killer and unravel the mystery surrounding the school you win. But if you fail to do both, I win. And it goes without saying, but I prepared a totally awesome punishment for the losing side. You mean, if you lose, you'll allow yourself to be executed? Yep, but a bear never goes back on his word. Whatever, man. I've got a bigger issue here. Jeez, you actually sound serious for once, guy, tummy ache. You're all in cahoots with the mastermind, aren't you? I've got cold hard evidence to prove it. <laughs> Look. Check out this picture. It's a group shot of everyone. Everyone but me. Y'all were in this together. Well, I was about to say the same thing. You're all trying to pull a fast one on me, aren't you? Uh, just look. You all knew each other even before coming to this school. Fancy that I acquired evidence of my own. S same. Manakuma said it was a hint. Uh, huh, I'm in your picture. Y you weren't all g ganging up against me? The mastermind wanted to use these pictures to Turn us against each other, as expected for the hints. Do you get one? Why bother with a known trap? So you blew it off. More Photoshop crud. First, that's a registered trademark. And second, I didn't edit a thing. Bull, I don't remember these pictures. Wait, are you sure he's lying to us? What are you getting at? The headmaster left behind some video footage. I'm pretty sure the mastermind didn't know about it. It contained recordings of the headmaster individually interviewing us. When he asked each one if we would be willing to spend the remainder of your years inside the academy, we all agreed. I've never even met the master, and he's never interviewed me. Exactly, no one remembers it. But that still doesn't mean it's fake. There could be another reason why we don't remember it. A completely ridiculous yet terrifying reason. All of us are suffering from memory loss. What? Shucks, you know it? That's why he nailed it. The whole class has amnesia. And not just any amnesia. You stole our memories with precision, didn't you? It's too convenient for us all to just happen to share the exact same memory lapse. How do you do it? But what do you do to my body? Well, does it now? Does hypnosis sound believable? How about a brain or during surgery. And that ain't even the point here. Let's y'all forget this too. We're here for the class job for the murder of Muko Ikusaba. Well, who the heck killed her? I've already figured that part out. I know who the killer, the mastermind, really is. Oh yeah? Very interesting. Show us what kind of stuff in you're made of. Only 16 high school students enter this academy alive. You're absolutely sure about that. Yep, that's the bare truth. 
So the killer has to be someone in here. It 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 isn't me. I'm not the mastermind. D don't look at me. No, it isn't necessarily limited to one of us. But someone at Elite School, you don't count so good. Ten students have died. That leaves us with six. That's not true. There were only nine corpses in the bio lab. Yelch! <laughs> The numbers don't add up. Wait. Right. The body in the garden was reused from one of those nine. The mastermind used a corpse from the morgue core to create the illusion of a new victim. So, who did the body belong to? Did anyone get hit with a pipe in the back of their head? No, we should viewed as nothing more than camouflage. The victim died from a score of injuries across her body. Doesn't that remind you of someone? Wh Wait, what? Junko and Oshima, that was Junko? In which case, Muko Ikusaba is still alive. No, eh? The mastermind tried to attack me, but I sincerely doubt it was Muko Ikusaba. What makes you so certain? How do you know it wasn't her? If you couldn't see the attacker's face, Ikusaba was under that mask. I'm sure of it. That can't be. There was a fanboy tattoo on my assailant's right hand. Yowza. Hmm, maybe it wasn't Ikusaba after all. But that doesn't mean it was a cute little cub like me under that mask. So, what about Kirigiri? She seems my suspicious. I mean, she's the only one without an alibi that day. Fine, I'll show you my hand. This should clear my name. Horrible, is it? I got these phones when I was still green back when I first start working as a detective. Are you okay with showing that to us? It's a small price to pay if it will help reveal the mastermind's identity. Man, this sucks. First my secret gets out, then Kirigiri flaunts her grizzly skulls. Oh sorry, that slipped right out. Did I hurt your feelings? Not particularly. I don't care what you say. From the start, I know that Kirigiri wasn't the culprit. The mastermind guilty of killing Ikusaba and controlling Manokuma. Select someone. Is you. Enoshima? The mastermind? Enoshima. You seriously think I'm Enoshima? Well, good luck proving that. I figured you'd deny it, but I'm on to your game. You've been in hiding since faking your own death. You went out of your way right to keep us from seeing your face. Because you didn't want us to know what the real Junko Enoshima looks like. The, the real Junko Enoshima? Nice try, pal, but y'all already met her first day a cl class up close and personal. Without our memories, it felt like we never met before. That's why we didn't realize an imposter was posing as Enoshima. Junko Enoshima had swapped identities with Mukuro Ikusaba from the very beginning. You put that line about pre-existing wounds to mislead us into thinking they were all bowel injuries, didn't you? But she didn't have any scars from her mercenary days. You actually murdered Ju Mukuro Ikusaba. That's why the two by share the same cause of death. Mm. The culprit made it appear like she was dead by murdering Ikusaba after they traded places. 
But the real Junko Anoshima is still alive and ticking. Zenadu. She's the ringleader, the true mastermind for this school life of mutual killing. But we join to your speciality acting broken. Give it up, Junko Anoshima. It's over. Over. Oop, boop, boop. No. We are still going strong. We have been waiting. Oh, we have been waiting. Waiting indeed for peasants such as yourself to appear before us. And now, for our student speaker, despite an hopeless day marks the end of our time at the academy. However, the days we learned about this fell under our teacher's wretch guidance will stay with us forever. We were only able to run in despair because we were in the midst of it, and I'm certain that a hopeless sense of despair will continue to weigh down upon our hearts. For today, we graduate. I gotta admit, I, I'm finally free. <clears throat> I get sick of things so quick. Having to control Monokuma day in and day out, it was beyond torturous. It was outright that world. Yes, we have been waiting, commoners, and now, swear to us your Fealty, and we shall beneath, I mean, bequeath half the world unto you. This is the mastermind, the real Junko Enoshima. But wait a second. She's not the same Junko, but still. It's like we've seen her before. Yes, we have. She was the person we used to see in all those fashion magazines before we came to this school. No wonder we know it's the fake Enoshima. Didn't look quite like her. We were comparing her to someone else. I'm Junko and she was Muko. All the makeup in the world couldn't turn her into the ultimate fashionista. I hate to say it, but our background story is a common trope. Bluntly put, <coughs> Muko and I are twin sisters. We're known collectively as the Despair Sisters of Ultimate Despair. You had the stereotypical athletic older sister Mugro, while the brilliant and adorable younger sister will went to Moi. Junko and Oshima. Ha 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 ha. But if you're trans, you kill your own sister. I have reasons that went deeper than the deep blue sea. Psych, got ya. Well, there, your personality's jumping all over the place. Yeah? Well, that's because I'm woefully quick to get sick of stuff, even my own personality. Now what? Ahem. Allow me to explain. This plan called for to someone to run the school life of mutual killing behind the scenes. The job and compass. Everything from controlling Monokuma to observing you. You come to refer to this position simply as the mastermind. According to my calculations, it would have proven impossible for Muko to carry out these tasks. The reason being she was a pathetic sister. The type of horribly pathetic sister that joins a mercenary group of her own volition. It, it's like an ex-French Leguine going to Shibuya and 
to claim war on the local g gangs. As such, I gave her the spotlight while I controlled things from backstage. But first, I had to contend with Mugro's child as the ultimate soldier. Hopelessly lame, hopelessly unfair, hopelessly creepy. The jury will agree. She had all three categories covered. On the other hand, it would be a shame to let an appealing child like my ultimate fashionista go to waste. That's why you traded places precisely at last. She was able to impersonate me far less than I had anticipated. She truly was a lost cause. Considering her unfortunate visual appearance, a large portion of the viewers undoubtedly expected her to die early on. Accordingly, I killed her to meet their expectations. Besides, I was full silly. I kind of knew where things were headed after all that planning, you know? So I mixed things up a bit by making an example of Mukroni. I figured when Ikusaba died, she was clearly taken by surprise. How can you live with yourself after killing your own sister? Be right back, guys. Guys, Eek, misunderstandings are scary. Ultimate despair fits sissy and me to a TK. We despair for the world since the moment we were born. Whether we kill or die, it's all the same to us. It's just the way we are, you know? And we can do anything because of it. <clears throat> That's what makes this such a turn on. The death of my beloved sister by my hand fills me with despair. Overwhelmingly despair that could only be described as ultimate. Ultimate, 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 ultimate despair. No, that's not enough ultimate. I'm not being all that. That transcends into ecstasy. Hey, I ain't no psychiatrist, but this chick's nuts. We gotta solve the case fast, hmm. How long do you intend to drag out your inane self-introduction? Is this a pathetic attempt to deter us from the large school mysteries? <laughs> oh yeah, if we wanna win, we gotta solve those too. But, but aren't they related to our lost memories? Yes, the memories we lost are bound to hold the answer. Yeah, man. But I don't know why I can't remember. Searching for that, honey, but you got stuck like... Pee bear. Oop, boop, boop. But say I go out on a limb here and offer you a... Helping Paul, I got a hint for ya. Perhaps this will jog some memories. Feast your eyes on what's happening in that outside world you're kept rallying about. What the? Yeah, it's a real two-tone mess out there. The whole world's going to pelt. So there you go. Wait, what? That didn't clear up squat. Clips from some movie, but right? If no one remembers the doomed, maybe Genocide Jill would remember. What? You want me to switch out with her? N no way. Never. Fukawa, you are our only hope. A true dawn. Your surprisingly domestic serial killer takes the stage. Only speak to provide clear and concise answers. Do you recognize the events in those videos? Huh? What videos? On the TV. Hey, who are you? Oh, me? I'm the mastermind. 
Hey, it's an honor to meet you. Ah, the pleasure is all mine. Hey, look at the TV, okay? Aye, aye, Captain. So, have you seen this before? If I had to say, I do recognize them. Go on, what happened out there? What type of question is that, Master Byakuya? Have you forgotten about the catastrophe? The biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history that turned the world all higgly wiggly? The tragedy took place back a year ago. It was so huge. It was more like a natural disaster than anything man made. The world fell apart in its wake. But we need some actual details. I don't know the details. Miss Gloom and Doom watched it in real time, not me. And I'm asking you precisely because she didn't know. Hey, cut out. Stop squabbling like an old married couple. Does it really matter how it happened? The world you know is over. That's the key point here. Preposterous. That's absurd. My world can't be over. Not so long as the fate of the world. And the Togami Corporation are one and the same. There isn't a single nation that could rival our military powers. The world will never fall into ruin, so long as the Togami Corporation stands strong. And I'm telling you it fell hard. I've confirmed that all your family and relatives tied to it are dead. You can bend over and kiss your title as the ultimate affluent progeny goodbye. What are you saying? I, I've heard enough of your offensive jokes. Hey, hold up. You've spelled out a bunch of crazy stuff. Yeah, you think I'm crazy? Don't stray. How could the war have ended a whopping year ago? We came here just recently. Just recently? Woo boy, I know you're kind of slow, but two years counts as just recently in your book? Or maybe it's your sense of time, your emerald that hopes Peak Academy two years ago. That's impossible. I don't believe it, but, but if that's true, the memories that we've lost... Come now, haven't you pieced together the hints that we so kindly dropped. Bring the mystery surrounding this school to light. The memories we've lost, they, they covered the past two years of our lives at this school. One year ago, I blacked out right after I took my first step onto the school ground. Then I woke up with my head on a desk in a classroom. Two years pass between those moments. That's where my memories were spliced. Your first year here brimmed with hope and peace, but it didn't last. The tragedy happened a year after your involvement. It nearly in annihilated the entire Hope Speak Academy school by. You were the only survivors. And thus, Hope Speak Academy initiated its shelter plan to protect the surviving students. So that's why the headmaster asked us if we would be willing to spend the remainder of our years inside the academy. He was trying to protect us. But it was also the headmaster's biggest boo-boo. Oop, oop, oop. Ain't it fair? Larius, you see, he didn't even know. The ultimate despair had already infiltrated his school. The very shelter meant to protect you became an inescapable cage filled with despair. It was the ideal setting for the school life of mutual killings. That's the entire reason why Mukuro and I chose this school two years ago. You kept us alive for this dumb show? Why go so far? Because there are still some, some hopeless fools who stubbornly, stubbornly 
cling to hope. So I decided to stuff this program down their throats. <laughs> That's why you hijacked the media? Mm-mm, yep, you've got it. I wanted the masses to watch as their symbols of hope murdered their fellow students at this academy. The sight of their hope turning to murder in the bowels of despair will infect the viewers with the same despair. It will break the last survivors of hope. And now you know how the ultimate despair plant to fill all humanity with the same hopelessness. Well, there you are, the truth you've been so desperately craving. What you think sucks, doesn't it? Bringing the school's mysteries to life threw you into dark despair, right? Don't tell me you even anticipated we should solve the mysteries, but please spare me. Hagakoi. I get how incredible you are, okay? I'll do anything. Just don't kill me. So now you're big. You're wasting your breath. Because I'm only interested in despair. Can't say there's any reason for it. And without any reason, y'all can't see where I'm coming from. Without it, y'all can't oppose me. Hold up. We've listened to your side of the story, but in all good conscious. I can't vouch that it's true. I haven't... Wait, huh? I haven't seen any of this with my own eyes. This can't be the truth. And even if you were telling the truth, I don't want to submit to you. I don't want to lose to you. Not only for us, but for everyone you've killed. I did not take their lives. I simply nudged you in the right direction. Fool, you stole our memories, fabricated modes, and pushed them to the brink. You slaughtered them. I'm impressed. You certainly know how to shift the blame. Is that how you find hope? Whatever. I can't let this drag out all day. It's about time we wrapped this trial up. Fully time. And seeing as how it's the big finale, I've decided to change the rules. You all represent hope. I represent despair. You all got vote to decide which side ought to get punished. But here's the catch. If even one of your votes against hope, I wouldn't get to punish the whole lot of you. If I win, your punishment will be a life sentence to grow old and decrepit in peace and harmony here at the academy. What? You mean we get to stay here? She lasts live? Wow, not killing someone? Mind blown. Wait a sec. Back up. I've got an idea. Where's the possessing growing old and decrepit? There's no way that'll appease the viewers. That does it. I'll give one of you a totally insane punishment. And the honor goes to you, Naegi. But... Why me? Um, cause I hate you? You keep, like, speaking out against me. And if you throw Naegi to the dogs, the rest of you get to survive. If, if they sacrifice me, they, they won't. Hey, you don't look so good, Naegi. What's the matter? Lost your confidence? Don't trust your friends? No, no. If they sacrifice me, if I die... If, if I die, if, if I die, oh, just bear with it, Naegi. It should go without saying, but I won't vote. And by the way, I'll get punished if I lose. You'll be able to go outside to a world that's fallen to ruin. Nothing but despair exists out there. Doubt you, you're the last one. Even the air's pretty bad now. Contaminate it. It's getting hard to breathe for the survivors. Of course, the academy's sealed and we got a filtration system, but if I die, it automatically shuts down. Nice. I truly love the look on your faces. What a beautiful lineup of faces developed by despair. Nike, it's looking bad. Bad, bad, bad. 
So, like, who do you think is going to fall into despair? Who's despair is going to sentence you to death? No, that's not it. You don't see it. There isn't just death and despair here. We've got each other. We can find hope in our friends. If despair is contagious, I'll infect everyone with my inner hope. Lame, still trying to dig in your heels. Not that it matters. It's past time to put an end to this, along with you and all your stupid hope stuff. N Nyaks, I don't know, man. My w reading actually says that we should stay. Hi, Gakoi. Fortune telling only places signs on the road of life. Is it important to still follow the path that you want? You express a stronger desire to live than anyone. And you're not really living if you bend to the mastermind's will. Ugh, woo. I still want to live. I want to open the next door. So I, I want to leave this place far behind. I don't care what my reading says. I'm going to go with my gut. Feelings carefully protected by my... Hiramaki. Nayagi, Azaina, we gotta do more than just survive. We bear the hopes and dreams of everyone we've lost. I said to myself, what would Sakura say if she were here? And I heard the words, the only way to see strength is by facing adversity. Therefore, I shall thread the path of thorns. Could you not just see her saying that? And so, okay, I'm in. Togami. Even if it is true, even if there was a disaster, there's still a world out there. Fight to reclaim what you lost. Excuse me, how dare a peasant such as yourself attempt to raise my morale? That's the spirit. The proud Byakuya Togami, I know, would never admit to be at this point in the game. <laughs> How absurd. I don't recall some made to despair to begin with. Furthermore, I know the Togami family hasn't fallen, for I am still alive. I can always use my own assets to rebuild the Togami legacy, and it shall be greater than ever before. <laughs> Master Byakuya, Buka, Graha! It's all the same to me. It, it all boils down to which side sounds like more fun. Despite how I look, I've hated going to school with a passion. Wait a sec. How do you think I look anyway? Kya Oh, but at the very least, Master Byakuya has to come with us. I could live anywhere if I had Master Byakuya's love. Then you're out of luck. So sadistic. Fukawa. Kirigiri. Kirigiri? This is the end of the line, Naegi. Your so-called hope won't reach her. Her father wants her to stay. What? You know why Kirigiri came to help speak Kami, don't you? Didn't she come to see her father again? <laughs> She's wanted to see him ever since she was a little girl. Naegi, you couldn't begin to imagine the countless trials she faced along the way. But she remained so determined to see the father she loved so much that he had become the center of her universe. But that very father is protecting her. He made this go in to a shelter for. He wants his beloved daughter to survive. That's all he asks for. Is this a school of despair? Of course not. As far as Kirigiri is concerned, it's a school of hope. Kirigiri? No. What will you know about it? You don't really understand how Ke Kirigiri cared about her father. And you could never understand how her father cared. There's no way he'd want us to live here if it meant losing hope.
Kiwi Kiwi, are you going to follow him to the grave? Spoon your father's one last wish? You're twisting things. Her father, the headmaster, entrusts the future to us and stood strong until the very end. I know you can hear his voice. If hope is fading from the world, then we'll become its new ways of hope. Be right back again. Guys, don't lose it. I, I don't know anything about my father, so I have no idea how he felt. But I'm confident my father, or at least my biological father, would never tell me to stay if it meant abandoning Naegi to his fate. I'm not sure why, but I can say that without a shadow of a doubt, perhaps this is what it means to be. Never mind. By the way, Nike, I don't believe you came to this school due to being lucky or unlucky. You were brought here for another reason altogether. The way you confronted the ultimate despair and stood your ground against despair to the very end makes you the ultimate hope. I believe that should be your true title. <laughs> <clears throat> Ew, yuck, this mushy hope stuff is so posy. Lame, 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 lame. We won't lose. Not as long as we have hope. Nike, you weren't highly talented, nor was hope ever given to you as a gift. Yet, you were the only one who never fell into despair. It's because you're just a little more optimistic than the average person. No way! What the heck? Hope pushes us forward. <clears throat> huh? Say what? I lost? Me lose? No, no way! That's like seriously? G guy problem with the verdict? There's no talking your way out of this. Sweet. This, this is despair. I infiltrated the academy two years ago, devised an intricate plan and killed my own sister, only to fail at the very end. This is ultimate despair. I could not be happier than in the throes of ultimate despair. What, what are you talking about, anyway? Does this mean you accept defeat? Ah ha ha ha. Defeat, you don't get it. Win or lose, it's all the same to me. There is despair either way. And regardless of how this ends, the only thing waiting for you is despair as well. You're the one who doesn't get it. We aren't afraid to face despair anymore. Not as long as we look upon it with hope in our eyes. Ew, give me a break. I hate that look on your faces. 
I tell you now, there are two sides of the same coin. Wherever hope exists, despair is sure to be found. It will be there. No matter how far you push ahead, no matter how far you run. Now let's do this. Wait, I, I don't actually want you to die. You don't have to. Oh, stop, 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 stop. I've been hopelessly lost in despair. I lost interest in everything the moment I was born. I've been waiting for this moment my whole life. For the first, last, and ultimate despair. The moment of my death. Oop, boop, boop. Ah, uh, it's so sublime. So this is how it feels. I wish all the world could drown in this. No. To even taste the merest drop of this sublime and glorious despair. A special punishment worthy of the finale. Let's go out with a bang. It's punishment time. You know, we can't stand here forever. Once I push this button, the door to the outside will open. Achoo! Huh? huh? Weren't we in a class trial with mas with the mastermind? It's all over. But really? We, we can l leave? But I'm um, kind of nervous about what awaits us. It's a big world. There's bound to be plenty of hope out there, you know. True hope stems from the very act of searching for hope of trying to find it. Heh, <laughs> that goes without saying. And lest you forget, Enoshima claimed that out there are fools who stubbornly cling to hope. Perhaps I should have them assist me in my endeavors. After all, rebuilding the Togami legacy is synonymous with rebuilding the world. I I'm with you. Uh, I'll accompany you t to the ends of the earth. S sorry about the drool. Speaking of which, I'm heading straight for a donut shop. Well, y'all do if there aren't any. I can't say I'll miss this place, but doesn't this moment feel somewhat strange? Yeah, I'm not quite sure how to describe it, but I guess graduation fits it best maybe. Well, here we go. Guess this is goodbye, and goodbye to Sakura. Guys, I'll read your fortunes whenever you like for free, even. I hate to be disturbed, but come let me know if you ever find yourself in a bind. <coughs> Not that I will necessarily offer any assistance. I, I shall write the story of the epic romance that sustained... Master Byakuya and me during our imprisonment. And I may include some of you as side characters. Go ahead, Nayagi. Even if the outside world is in ruins, even if it is filled with despair, I'm actually looking forward to facing it with someone like you by my side. What can a handful of kids like us do? <clears throat> I bet we can do anything. Yeah, we can do anything at all. Hope will spread as long as I don't give in. The door to the future opens every day to the place where despair and hope are always with you. <laughs> fascinating. Positively fascinating. Oop, boop, boop. Remember, I ain't a stuffed animal. I am the school's headmaster. And there we are. It's over. Anyway, bye guys.